Hey Phil, how much mess have you made of the consult room today? So it's interesting, you know, most of us are living in this post-COVID era. And as you all know, we take our COVID swab and it goes right to the back of our nose. As people often say, the swab's going into the brain. It's interesting, we do COVID swabs on cockatiels. Except instead of COVID, it's chlamydia or silicosis. And I'd like to just share how we do it. And it's so similar that the owners empathize. And they always say to me, oh, I've just had one. It's easy to explain to someone that it's a COVID swab and you say, oh no, chlamydia swab. So chlamydia is a... This is not, this is not hasn't been planned. <laughs> no, because I was giving him a hard time over the mess he made. <laughs> so, so what we do is we take a swab. I'm only going to send the tip in. It's a PCR test. The first thing we do is we, we want the conjunctiva because that's one of the main places chlamydia comes out. So I've, taken the conjunct, so I've taken the conjunctiva and I've actually rubbed it in the swab. I've taken the other side and rubbed it in the swab. I've touched the tip of the nose because this is a respiratory pathogen. And now we're going to do the into the brain. So we take the swab, just like the COVID that hits your brain. We say, please open your beak and it goes right down back of the throat into the brain. Coena. The brain's a joke, by the way. We're not really going into the brain. And now we've got a really good sample. Um, I may even put a tiny drop of blood on this as well, just to make it... Uh, the test is $85. It takes about a week or seven working days, depending. But I want to get the best result. I don't want to... If it's silicosis or chlamydia, I want to pick it up. This bird is a hand raised. You can just see it's a beautiful, calm bird in our hands. Wild birds or non-hand raised birds will be making a performance. Um, but to take a drop of blood, we're doing something that's a little bit controversial. What, messing up the consult room so the nurses have to clean it? <laughs> so what we're going to do is, I'm not smoking the COVID swab. You look like you're smoking the COVID swab. So what I'm going to do is take the... I'm going to cut the nails, they're very sharp and they catch on everything. But as you guys know, when you cut nails in birds, they can bleed really easily. So it's the tiniest cut. I've taken a millimeter. I've got the tiniest drop of blood. I've cauterized the ends. And uh, we're now going to put this into our little container. So let's put, let's put, uh, do you want to put this back, please, camera? So, well, I'll just show it on the video how what we do now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take our swab, we obviously don't want the unsterile part at the end, so we put our swab into the container. The, the tip of it's still, the tip of the tip of it is sterile. And that's what nail clippers are used for, for cutting swabs. And you're not sending in the bit you were chewing on. <laughs> no, we're not, we, the, the bit that I smoked... Is gone. So there's the bit that we held and chewed on, so... And then the lab knows, they'll take that end bit. Now, chlamydia is often subclinical. The reason we take it, this, in our particular case, the owner will ask me what should he do. So chlamydia has, is twofold. The reason we recommend we do a chlamydia test is one, it's a serious disease of cockatiel. So it can be in other species, but cockatiels more than most. And secondly, it's a zoonosis, which means the bird can pass it to the owner. But when you've got a hand raised bird like this one, who, who's gonna really easily be on your shoulder, be talking to you, possibly eating out your mouth, breathing, inhaling stuff. Chlamydia is serious. Um, it's a serious, it's a serious enough disease to consider. So we've got a zoonotic disease. It's serious enough to consider. So, so we recommend every single cockatiel, especially if you've got young people, or older people, COVID and immunosuppression. Um, testing for chlamydia is very important. And when we go to old age homes, it's mandatory. In fact, we treat as well. Self-weighing. <laughs> so his weight's about 85, I'm guessing. 90. <laughs> Close. 85. Um, but that's about the right weight. So right weight for a cockatiel. Okay. Do you want to let's put him back? Oh, that's him. And seeing as though this is a co cockatiel specifically, we also do a poo test. And the poo test, we look in the poo test, we look for a, a protozoan parasite called Giardia. And the reason we're looking for Giardia is one, like chlamydia, it's a zoonosis, which means owners can pick it up. And two, it's really common in cockatiels. In fact, it's more common in cockatiels than most than any other parrot species we see in this clinic. 
by Motel Protozoa, we like getting a fresh poo sample. So when I, I haven't actually told Cameron, but I actually go to the incubator, take a slide and some warm fluid out the incubator. So the slide is warm, the fluid is warm, because I like seeing them moving around on the slide. That's why I actually waited quite a while to try and get a, a steamy, fresh poo sample, because it's the best chance of finding it. You guys will see when you go to vets, they do a lot of poo samples in birds. In many times, it doesn't really help. It's like taking a dog to the vet, and when the dog is sick, taking a poo sample. But I'm specifically looking for giardia and a cockatiel. Um, and in this particular case, it was negative. I've, I've told Cameron this is a new bird to come back once, maybe one revisit. And probably the only test we do then is a poo test. Occasionally, if owners want to go to that next level, we do, we do blood tests, which is a basic blood screen, which tests liver, kidney, etc. Besides picking up issues that may be issues, it gives us a baseline value. And that would be if you join a wellness program like Cockatiel, those are things we will be doing. In the first year, we'd include a few tests, and the next year, we'd include basic bloods.